I don't think that's a word. Contemporaneous. That's definitely not a word. Hey Siri, is contemporaneous a word? I found some web results. I'll send them to your iPhone. That's not helpful really, is it? Oh no, contemporaneous is a word. Okay, Siri, we're winning. <laughs> Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today, to celebrate Bam Bam's comeback slow-mo, I thought we'd review some of his beautiful red carpet fashion. Bam Bam serves up incredible fashion, whether that's in his MVs, his live performances, red carpets, airport, you name it, he's serving a look. And we love it. <laughs> If you're new to this style of video, hello, welcome. I've got a selection of Bam Bam's red carpet looks here on my laptop. We're gonna go through talk designers, cuts, silhouettes, fabrics, all of that good stuff. And then as it's a review, I'll be rating each look out of 10. And I've been enjoying the black hearts. So this is gonna be out of 10 black hearts. If you want to learn more about my fashion background, I've left all of that information in the description box. You can check that out and read that at your own leisure but let's get straight into the first look. Bam Bam Red Carpet look one. I believe he's at the Restier event in 2018 in Thailand. As soon as I saw this look, I was like, we are reviewing this. This is so beautiful. I love this tweedy double-breasted four button jacket with the chains draping across like a sash. It's such a beautiful, beautiful detail. And it gives it this very low key nodding very, very slightly to a military reference with the sash. But the fact that it's chains and the jacket's tweed, it immediately makes you think Chanel. I don't know if it is Chanel. I think what's so beautiful about this look is that there is such a balance between contemporary and classic. When we look at the cut, it is a double-breasted jacket with four buttons and it's got a peak lapel, which is where your lapel piece comes out at a diagonal past your collar piece. And a four-button double-breasted jacket is a more contemporary take on a double-breasted jacket in menswear compared to the traditional six-button, where you have your four buttons placed in that square and the top two buttons are placed wider apart. And then the fact that it's very slim and it really beautifully comes to the waist and then slightly comes back out over the hips. And it's quite a long line jacket. We can see that it's hitting him right at the mid thigh. So the cut of the jacket is quite contemporary, but this tweed fabric, tweed is such a classic fabric. It's the fabric that is giving it that classic edge. And then of course the chains giving us that Chanel vibe over the top, that's adding to the contemporaryness. I don't think that's a word, contemporaryness. That's definitely not a word. Hey Siri, is contemporaryness a word? I found some web results. I'll send them to your iPhone. That's not helpful really, is it? Oh no, contemporaryness is a word. Okay, Siri, we're winning. <laughs> A really beautiful detail of this jacket is the covered buttons. The fact that the buttons have been covered in that tweed fabric, it really helps them blend into the jacket. So your focus is all on that chain sash. There's no focus taken away by the buttons. Imagine this with gold buttons, it would distract from the chain sash and that beautiful texture of the fabric. So by covering them, it helps the other elements of the jacket be star of the show. And then when we look at the shirt underneath, I believe that this is a Cuban collar shirt, a camp collar shirt, collar and a veer, whatever you want to call it. And what I like about this is that it has that same V shape as the collar shape of the jacket. So it's not, again, distracting from anything. And then initially when I first saw this, I've not been able to find any full length shots. I thought this would have like matching trousers, but to see that it's been styled with black trousers, perfect way to style this jacket and ground it. If this jacket had white trousers and that same tweedy fabric with the sash, it would start to lean into like a naval uniform kind of vibe. It could very easily go down like the slightly costumey route. So by going with the black trouser, I think it's the perfect way to finish it off. And can we talk about this picture of Bam Bam holding the mimosa? I believe it's a mimosa anyway. It could just be orange juice, but orange juice in a champagne flute. Come on, it has to be a mimosa. This is a vibe. This is such a fucking vibe. I want this look. I want this mimosa. This is a moment I need to have. <laughs> It's a vibe. Bam Bam, red carpet look one. It's 10 black hearts from me. Beautiful details, the chain sash and the way it's been styled and finished, keeping it in this fashion realm. Beautiful job. 
Bam Bam Red Carpet Look 2, we have this Disney Prince vibe moment and thinking about it, arguably the first look, it also had like that Disney Prince kind of vibe about it. This look is great. It does lean slightly costumey, but he just looks so great in it. Like I actually just can't like imagine Bam Bam as like a Disney Prince. Look no further. <laughs> I think what's really great about the two looks that we reviewed so far is that they've both got this military reference to them and it's making them cohesive. I know they're separate events, but I always like to pull out these little details in styling that like link people's looks together. So the fact that we've got that gold applique going across the chest with the buttons, it is a military reference. The fact that we've got that gold rope going around the cuff of the jacket, it leans into military uniforms and those military references. So I think they're really beautiful details to pull out. The fabric itself, it does look kind of velvety in this shot here. And it has this like glitter in the fabric and it's just catching the light so beautifully. And I love, I love that this is a tail jacket. It's so rare that you see a beautiful tail jacket being worn and this is just doing it such justice. And the fact that we've got that black shirt underneath, and again, we've got that V shape coming down the placket. I think it might be a granddad collar shirt because you can't really see. Yeah, it's a granddad collar shirt because we've got the stand piece, which sits against the neck, but we've not got the full piece, which is like this piece here coming back down. So it's a granddad collar shirt. And then that slim cut trouser with the belt, it's very understated. It lets the jacket do all of the speaking, all of the work. Nothing else of this outfit is contending with the jacket because it's got the beautiful velvet fabric with the glitter, the beautiful applique and the military details. So letting all of that stand out and do the work, it's just styled perfectly. And then on Bam Bam's feet, it looks like he's got a pointed toe Chelsea boot and it works perfectly with the look. We know this isn't my favorite type of shoe on myself personally. Look at my foot. <laughs> Oh my God, no. Oh my God, I hate them. But it works beautifully with the outfit and it's just impeccably styled. No surprises there. So Bam Bam Red Carpet Look 2 is gonna be another 10 black hearts from me. Bam Bam, what? Bam Bam Disney Prince vibes is a vibe. There's lots of vibes going on in this video. I'm talking about the mimosa, now the Disney Prince vibe. I need to chill. <laughs> Bam Bam look three. This is an interesting one because I believe this is a stage look that was worn on the red carpet. And when it comes to stage looks being worn on the red carpet, I feel like it's just such a fine line. And we've seen it quite a few times this award show season. We're still in award show season. And for me, this doesn't necessarily work as a red carpet look. I think it's great as a stage look because you have all of these different textures of embellishment in the look. The sequins, the chains, the tassels, the studs on the arms. It's gonna catch so beautifully under the stage lights. And then the fact that they've snatched him in at the waist with the Louis Vuitton belt, giving it like a really nice silhouette and shape at the waist, like stage look, yes, love. But for the red carpet, it just doesn't make much sense to me that it doesn't, there's not much red carpet about it. Bam Bam looks great. I mean, he always looks great, come the fuck on. But for me, it just, it doesn't work as a red carpet look. So like, look at the picture of it on stage. Beautiful, it works with the lights, the mic, the slim cut trousers, the belted waist, come the fuck on. But yeah, on the red carpet for me, it's just not the vibe. We're gonna keep the vibes going. So it's just not the vibe for me. So for that reason, I'm gonna give Bam Bam Red Carpet Look 3 six black hearts. If I was rating it as a stage, it would be like an eight and a half and nine, but red carpet wise, six. Bam Bam Red Carpet Look 4. I believe we're at the Golden Disc Awards in 2018. Please correct me if I got that wrong. What I really rate about this look is the simplicity of it, but it's the accessorizing that has really taken it there. If we take away the giant bow tie for a moment and we look at the type of shirt, the cut of the jacket, it is very simple menswear. This is a single breasted jacket with one button. Looking at the placement of the break, which is where the lapel folds back and you have your top button, it is maybe just above where his belly button sits. And that is a dead giveaway that it's an SB1. And looking at the lapel, it's a notch. 
very standard menswear, very simple type of jacket. The same with the shirt underneath. This is just a standard white shirt, collar, full. And if you didn't have the big bow tie, it'll be very dull, a very dull red carpet. I feel like even if you had a very classic bow tie of this, it'll be quite a dull red carpet, especially for Bam Bam, wow. <laughs> wow, imagine, imagine shit. But the giant bow tie, the textures of the bow tie, it looks like there's a brooch in the middle. It's just this beautiful accessory that really takes the look there and makes it Bam Bam, makes it his style. And that's what I rate about it. It shows you the power of accessorizing and how one statement accessory can really amp look up and make it perfect for the red carpet. This is probably one of the most simple looks that we've seen Bam Bam in on the red carpet, but it's still perfectly his style. It's very chic, sophisticated, but the fact that the bow tie is so oversized, it just takes it to that like whimsical fun vibe. I love it. So I'm gonna give Bam Bam red carpet look for 8.5 black hearts. I know I said I love it, 8.5. 8.5 is still a good score, but when I think of like the first two looks, like strong. Do you know what I mean? Just a little nudge in front. Moving on to our final Bam Bam red carpet look, we're at the Asia Artist Awards from 2021. I know I reviewed this look in my Asia Artist Award red carpet review, but I wanted to include it because we've got the full length shot now and the silhouette of this suit. I didn't get to see the full shot when I reviewed that video. And the fact it is this very boxy DB6 jacket in the beautiful like houndstooth fabric with the wide trouser, that boot, the glasses. It gives it this very like low key 70s vibe. It's so beautiful. Like I thought I loved it when I just saw this shot, the three quarter length with like the iced out necklace, the iced out watch, the earring, it's extra. Bam Bam is taking it there. Seeing the full silhouette of the suit with the boot, it just makes me love it even more. And what's really nice about this suit is how we've got that peak lapel, but the collar piece is that contrasting black. It ties into the black buttons on the suit and he's rolled the cuffs of the suit back. It immediately makes it that bit more casual and that flash of the black lining is tying into the other elements of black on the jacket. And it's been styled shirtless, a very contemporary way to style a suit. If you're going to an event and you're gonna be wearing a suit, go shirtless or wear like a vest underneath that you can't see. It just immediately makes it more fashionable. In my opinion, anyway, it's just such the trend at the moment. It's the look, <laughs> it's the look. You can also see on this jacket that the button placement isn't that traditional DB6 button placement. The width of the top two buttons in this photograph at least look like they're almost the same width as the other buttons, if ever so slightly wider, but usually they're quite a lot wider. So again, it's just the little details like that that really make this contemporary and cool and slick and a little bit sexy. You know what I mean? So our final Bam Bam Red Carpet look, I'm going to give this 10 black hearts. Perfect way to finish his most up-to-date red carpet look and it just slaps, hand this suit over, hand this whole look over, I would happily wear it. And hand over the first look whilst you're there because I want that little like military Chanel vibe. <laughs> Bam Bam never disappoints on the fashion front. I am pre-filming this before his comeback comes out. So I've not seen slow-mo yet. I'm super excited. I've seen the teasers. It looks really interesting and I'm already picking up on some styling similarities to Ribbon. So that's exactly what you should go do next. If you've not seen my Bam Bam slow-mo reaction, I'll leave it linked in the top screen here as well as in the description box for you to check out. But thank you so much for watching. A massive, massive thank you to everyone who subscribed. You are incredible. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.